Did you know that Cami has something called Class View? Class View allows you to look at all of your student work in one place. You can quickly give feedback, scroll back and forth through the different assignments and see everybody at one time. Let's take a look. Class View is a feature of Google Classroom and Cami working together. So in order to utilize it, you do need to create your assignments using Google Classroom, clicking Create and choosing Cami Assignment. We can show you more about that in another video. Let's take a quick look at what Class View looks like. So if we click here on this photosynthesis activity, we can simply go over to where it says one person has turned it in. And you'll notice that we have this person's assignment here. We could click and go in the normal way in Google Classroom to look at the assignment. But instead, let's go up here to the top right to Class View. You'll notice what happens now is Google Classroom and Cami work together to take all of the students' assignments and put them all on one Cami page. So you as the teacher now have access to all of the different tools, including the drawing tool. If you'd like to mark up the page at all, you can also use the comment tool to leave a text comment, a voice comment, a video comment, or even a screen capture comment to show students something that maybe they misunderstood or to give them feedback in any way. You can scroll from left to right to take a look at each student's progress. You can also sort up here in a variety of ways. So these different criteria are ways that you can sort. So we could sort by first name, by last name, or even by submission status. So when we do submission status, we see first the students who have turned in their work, the students that we've already graded, and then over here, we're going to see students that have had the work assigned to them. So if we look at quick and easy ways to be able to give some feedback, for example, we could click here on the voice comment and we could leave Olivia a message. Hey, Olivia, it looks like you've really grasped these concepts of photosynthesis. Great job getting your work done on time. And then we could scroll over here to Cameron and say, hey, Cameron, looks like you haven't gotten started on this activity yet. If you have any questions, please come and see me. We can also utilize the grading function in Google Classroom if that's appropriate for your environment. Lastly, if it is a multi-page activity, you'll notice that page one is up here at the top and you can scroll down and see subsequent pages down below. So you can scroll from left to right or up and down in order to see all of your student work in one place. Oh, and one more thing. It's important to note that this is live. So if students are working, you can keep a pulse on their activity as you scroll back and forth. This isn't just a grading mechanism. This is also a way for you to be able to see all of your students working at one time.